Bonjourissimo gamers, Cody here, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Lads and Gladyses, I want to talk about skill tripods again, because I recently actually started to set up uh, all of my characters in their uh, best in slot tripods for when the new tripod system hits our version. Uh, and I wanted to talk about it with you guys because this was something that was like super overwhelming for me before I realized how easy it was to do. But before we jump into it, if you guys enjoy my content, be sure to sub to the channel. If you like the videos, be sure to like them and check me out on Twitch. If you are hearing me, write meow. I am already live, so click that link in the description box down below. And lastly, join the community Discord. It's filled with a bunch of incredible people for people to hang out with, chat with, and play some Lost Ark with. It is definitely the place you want to be. Now let's jump into this. So before anything, I'm going to have a little bit of repeat from some of my previous videos. What is this tripod update? What this tripod update will be doing is that instead of having your tripods in this, your skill tree inventory, you're going to have a tripod library. What's cool about this is that once you learn a tripod once, you've learned it forever at that level. This means that if you want to try out different skills or different tripods, or think things get buffed and nerfed and whatever, it will be much, much, much easier to switch between skills than it currently is because for anyone who's ever tried to like run a different skill on their bar than uh, they started with, it is a pain to find tripods for that skill, especially once you're higher level and level one tripods don't really drop anymore. And how do you prepare for this? These are the basics. What you can do right now is save a bunch of level four tripods. And I mentioned this in a previous video, but if you get any level four drops, just save them into here. It's a 100% chance of it saving. Just save it into your tripod inventory at level four. And when the update comes, it's gonna be pulling all of your tripods from this uh, skill tree inventory. Which means that even if in this inventory, I have like three or four or five pages of a bunch of assorted tripods, but as long as those tripods have that level four on them, that means when the update drops, they will be at max level of that tripod, which means that if you plan for this correctly, all of your characters can have full max level tripods, which is an insane power boost. I don't know why I got so aggressive there, but <laughs> this is something that is definitely worth doing. Now, it depends where your account is at, obviously, because Fions are insanely expensive right now. But for where I'm at, this is something that I am definitely going to be focusing on because tripods are, I don't want to say undervalued in NA, but tripods are really, really really important and extremely powerful and being able to prepare for this ahead of time is going to be huge for your alts and especially for your main now i apologize for flashbanging you but it's for good purpose as i mentioned fions are freaking insane right now and honestly whenever you end up watching this video i don't know if fions are gonna get any cheaper when you're watching this so what i'm gonna do is there's gonna be a link to everything i'm using in this video by the way but if you are not planning on doing all of your tripods, I'm going to leave a link to this Lost Ark tripod priority list. This is a Google Doc uh, that has every single class uh, with, obviously, their spec uh, and the primary tripods, secondary and optional. So pretty much a tier list on which ones you should focus on as a priority, which ones you should focus on as secondary, and then the completely optional ones. This is super important. If you're not planning on just getting all of your 18 tripods for your character, this is super, 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 super useful. And I would recommend that you at least focus on at least some of these because yes, it's going to cost a bit of fions, but the power scaling of having your hardest hitting skills juiced out of their minds when the patch comes, it's going to be spicy. Now, this is the part that super overwhelmed me when I started doing this. Because you're going to be saving like, you know, 18 tripods, this is if you're going for everything, right? But if you're going for a lot of tripods on every single character, so your characters are hella juiced by the time this stuff comes out, you have to remember, all your pieces are going to have one level 4 tripod on it, which means you have to balance out, okay, well, where can I save this? Do I have a head slot? Do I have a shoulder slot? Do I have a chest slot? An uh, arm slot? Weapon slot? Across all your pages, and you don't want to accidentally overbuy because then you have to pay an extra one, or I guess it's 50, I guess it, as you get more pages it costs more, but... You're going to have to spend extra blue crystals to unlock each page. This can be really complicated, but there is a Google document to make this a lot easier. So how do you use this? It's pretty simple. What you're going to do first is you're going to put in all of these skill tripods that you are tracking and that you care about, and you're going to slap them inside of this Google document. You're going to put the skill name here, and then uh, you will then put the name of the tripod. I don't know what any names of this are. Let's say like a hard hit, who knows? And then you will have the option to choose the level and then the piece. And it's really, really straightforward and easy to use. 
I'm gonna show you guys an example of something that I already have saved to my skill tree. So in this example, let's say I've written out all of my skills and their tripods that I'm getting, uh, and it would look kind of like how the crippling barrier line looks, where I have like a bunch of tripods, right? Now, in this scenario, let's say I bought my shoulders, which I already have saved in my inventory. I save them in, I lock it to make sure I don't accidentally copy over it. Uh, and then I would just put here that it's level four, which is the max level. And then this is on inventory page two, and it is the shoulder slot. So right here, I would put shoulders two, because shoulders two stands for the shoulder slot on the second inventory page. And what this does is that right here on the right hand side, it actually blocks it out. It's red. You notice how everything here is green. This means I want to get my next tripods for all my, you know, on the other gear or whatever. I know that I'm like, okay, well, I can't save something on page two. Uh, on shoulders. Let's say I want to buy only three pages and I want to spend a bunch of blue crystals or whatever it is. I got three pages to work with. I know where I can fit each uh, tripod so I don't overbuy or I don't accidentally double buy two pieces that are competing for the same slot. Once everything is done, it should look something like this. This is my main, this is my Glavier, and she has all of her tripods done. And so you'll see a bunch of slots that are locked. You always want to make sure to lock them so you don't accidentally like, you know, uh, roll other stuff onto it. Like let's say I have a bunch of pieces with level four tripods, level four tripods, level four tripods. The other two don't really matter. Uh, you just have each piece with a level four tripod. So that way when the system rolls over and we get the new tripod system, uh, this character will have all of her tripods at max level guaranteed. And you could even go above that. Like this character, I, got, I ended up getting extra pages because I wanted to get some extra skills or some extra tripods just to see like, you know, so I could play around with them and see if I like them or not. And honestly, the thing that made me the most overwhelmed before I was like setting this up, like I knew that this was my plan right now until like clown. Uh, but the thought of like trying to organize this honestly gave me a ton of anxiety until I actually used it. This might seem like it's a lot. This might seem a little bit overwhelming, but I'm telling you this Google Doc makes it insanely easy to prep your characters. Even if you're not planning on going for all of your tripods, I think it is still very, very worth it to use this Google Doc because if you're going for five, six, seven tripods, you can easily accidentally overstack uh, the same piece of gear uh, that's gonna be competing for slots. And you don't wanna spend blue crystals on more slots if you don't have to because blue crystals are so freaking expensive right now. Now, when talking about something like this, there's always gonna be the conversation of, is this worth doing? Yes, the answer is yes, it's 100% worth doing. Even though blue crystals are at an, an insane price right now, Honestly, I would say the scenario where I would do this, if you have characters parked, if you're just chilling pretty much, honestly, if you've been playing the game right now and you haven't taken a break since the launch, chances are your roster is probably pretty juiced and chances are you have a lot of characters parked and you're just kind of on maintenance mode and just kind of going through the steps. This is something that is super, super, super important because even if let's say you've parked your characters at like 1370 or 1415 or whatever it is, your characters are eventually going to need a lot of power. They're going to be doing Clown. They're going to be doing Vicus. They're going to be doing Braushaza. Eventually they will be juiced. And once this system is gone where you can no longer guaranteed roll tripods uh, into the skill tree inventory and it turns into the skill tree library, uh, you're going to be sad that it's gone because you're going to have the only way you can save tripods from that point forward is hitting uh, that super low percentage roll and tripods are so much power and we're getting getting it for free right now practically but as always that is just my opinion i want to hear from you guys are you guys planning on setting up your tripods for your characters are you just doing your main are you going to be doing all of your alts are you going to do maybe your main you're going to get everything you're also going to just get the major ones are you just going to get only the major ones on all your characters is only your main going to get the major ones do you not care and you plan on not preparing at all for the system change i want to hear from you guys in the comment section down below Thank you all for watching today's video. I do hope you enjoyed it. I do hope you found it helpful. As always, if you guys enjoy my content, be sure to sub to the channel. If you like the videos, be sure to like them. Be sure to check me out on Twitch. If you are hearing me right now, I mean, it's, you're legally allowed to close this video and actually uh, pop on over. So I would suggest it. <laughs> Thank you all for spending some time with me today. I really do appreciate it. I hope you'll have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Lie, lie.